Welcome to the Speed Test Custom video tutorial series. In this video, we'll learn how to do basic configuration of your test, as well as how to preview and publish your test. To begin, go to account.speedtestcustom.com slash login and enter the email address and password for your account. If you have not yet published your test, you'll see a pop-up with a link to helpful articles about configuring your test. On the test tab, First, enter your test URL, also sometimes called the subdomain. This is the URL of your test and to which you can link from your website. For example, enter ISP name to get the test URL ispname.speedtestcustom.com. If you would like to restrict access to your test, click on the require password checkbox. A random password is listed by default to which you can keep or update and share with, the, with your intended audience so that only those users can access your test. Your test is pre-configured to use the speed test server network, making thousands of servers around the globe available to people taking your test. If you're a premium subscriber, you also have the option to use your own servers ensuring only your brand is displayed to your users. To learn about this option, watch the second video of the Configuring and Publishing Your Test video series using your own server network. Next, we'll configure how your test appears to your users in the test interface. Select the Interface tab. Note that you can change the view to see how your test will look at different stages of the test. Select your colors. The first circle controls the background color of your test. Click on it to make changes using either a hexadecimal code or the color picker. The second circle updates the accent colors of your test, which appear in places like icons, the gauge, and buttons. Premium subscribers can set the speed label, distance unit, default maximum increment, and test types. The speed label will toggle between kilobits per second and megabits per second. The distance units will tra toggle between miles and kilometers when showing the distance the server is from the user. The default maximum in increment sets the highest number displayed on the gauge by default. If the actual speed exceeds this value during the test, the value will be automatically reset to an appropriate higher value one time per test. Test types enables you to toggle on and off the types of tests you would like to conduct. Both free and premium subscribers can select the client and ser server icons you want on your test. The client icon is used to represent the user taking the test. And the server icon is used to re represent the server selected to conduct the test with. All subscribers also have the option to upload your logo if you would like it to appear on your test. The logo must be a minimum of 150 by 150 pixels and a maximum of 600 by 300. The file must be in PNG, JPEG, or GIF format and one megabyte or less in size. Premium subscribers can further customize your test interface with custom CSS. To learn about this option, watch the third video of the Configuring and Publishing Your Test video series, Custom CSS. All subscribers can choose to link to your test URL from one or more web pages, or if preferred, you can embed your test on those pages via an iframe. 
To learn how to add your test to your website using an iframe, watch the fourth video of the Configuring and Publishing Your Test video series, Getting Your Test on Your Website. When you've completed the basic configuration steps we've outlined in this tutorial, you're ready to publish your test. Click the Save and Publish button. Remember to click Save and Publish after every update you make in order to save each change. Once you publish the test, it will be accessible at the test URL and any embedded URLs you configured. You can view it by clicking on the View Live Test link. Free subscribers, if you would like to get access to all the premium configuration features we've covered in this video series, you can upgrade at any time from the dashboard page of your account by clicking Upgrade Now. This completes the basic configuration of your test. We hope this video has helped you understand how to configure and publish your Speedtest custom test. More detailed instructions are available on our website. Go to ookla.com, click on Support, and then click on the Speedtest custom link to see all available articles.